This is Starcade, TV's first video arcade game show. A game show for today. And here's your host, Mark Richards. Hi, and welcome to Starcade. Our two players have been practicing up for today's exciting rounds of competition, and they'll be competing against each other for exciting prizes by playing the newest and most exciting video arcade games in the entire world. Players, are you about ready? Have you warmed up enough? I'm ready. How about you? I'm ready. All right, let's go play Starcade. <laughs> Boy, you've been practicing up enough, huh? Let's meet our two players. We have John Cantu. Hello, John. Hi, how are you? Nice to have you with us, John. And your opponent is Heidi Starfield. Hi, sorry, Heidi. Hi. How are you? Okay. Good. Let's talk to John a little bit because he's bigger than you are. John, I hear that you want to be a millionaire within five years. How do you plan to do that? Uh, well, not by hard work, I'll tell you that. Uh, <laughs> uh, basically writing. I do, uh, I'm a comedy writer, and I intend to write the, uh, a best-selling novel that I can convert to a movie. And you know who you look like? Remember Jerry Lewis, the Nutty Professor? <laughs> Doesn't he, folks? The Nutty Professor. <laughs> <laughs> That's who you look like. And you look like him, and Heidi here looks like Annie, don't you? Yes. You've been told that many times, and I understand you're uh, also on call for the Broadway part of Annie, am I right? Yes, you are. Can you sing that one song everybody knows? Yes. Just a little bit? Yeah. All right, you're going to audition right now for us, okay? Here we go. Heidi. The sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow. Good. Then All right. That's what... <laughs> All right. Heidi and John, shake hands. Get ready to play Starcade and take your places on the podiums, if you will, please. And both John and Heidi have been teamed up based on their playing ability on various uh, arcade games here on Starcade. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to have five games on the program today. You'll both be playing three of the same game, and the high score gets to play their choice of the fourth or the fifth game for the grand prize, which is your very own video arcade game. And here's Kevin to tell us what it, what it is. Kevin? It's Eyes, a watchful game of wandering eyes furnished by Rockola. That's the prize. One of you could win it today on the program. We have two rounds of competition. There'll be two games in round one and one game in round two. And the winner of each round of competition gets to play the bonus game for some prizes. So right now, let's find out what the five games are on today's Starcade. Kevin, if you will. Mark, game number one is Time Pilot, an exciting flight through time. Game two is Tutankham, a treasure search through dungeons. Game three... Burger time. Help Chef Pepper build a burger. Game four is Blueprint. Mean Fuzzy Wuzzy meets up with JJ, our hero. And game five is Swimmer, a wet and wild swim for treasure. And one of those five games has a special bonus prize attached to it. You pick that game, and that prize is yours. Ready to play? Hands on your buzzer. I have a question I'm going to ask you based on video arcade games. The first one to press, answer correctly, gets to pick the first game. In the game of asteroids, the player controls A, a triangular spaceship, or B, a disc-like saucer. John? A, the first one, the triangular shape. You got it. That's what it is, a triangular spaceship. And that means, John, you get to pick the very first game to play. Which would it be? Well, let's stay in the air. We'll go with Time Pilot. Time Pilot it is. Come on down to the playing area. And Kevin, please tell us how to play Time Pilot. If you've ever dreamed of a journey through time, get ready, because you're about to become the time pilot, racing your sleek jet at mock speed, encountering a century of flying machines from the 1910 biplane to the UFOs of the future. Rescue parachuting pilots for extra points as you race through time. A hundred years will pass before the eyes of the time pilot. John, Time Pilot's the game you played. We're going to give you 40 seconds on our time clock to get as many points as you possibly can. Don't forget you're playing for that grand prize, your very own video arcade game. You ready to play? I'm ready. Good luck to you. In position, please, John. 40 seconds on the clock. Ready and begin. <laughs>
It uh, looks like you played that game many times before. Yeah, I like this game. Are you happy with the score? Uh, it's okay. It's acceptable. I'll tell you what you got. You have yourself 4,200 points, 4,200 points on your game of uh, Time Pilot. Go on back to the podium, if you will, please. And let's come on up with Heidi. <laughs> Heidi, have you ever played Time Pilot? A couple of times. A couple of times. Do you think you can beat 4,200 points in uh, 40 seconds? I hope so. Well, if you do, that's going to help you uh, win the video arcade game, you know. All, every point counts on these games. So if you're all set to go, we're going to turn you around right now, put you into position. Again, we're going to give you 40 seconds on the time clock. So turn around, please. If you're all set, listen to my cue. Ready and begin. <laughs> You say you've played it before or not? You should be very happy right now because you have 5,000 points, and that means you're ahead of John as we finish our first round of competition on today's Starcade, and we'll be back with more of Heidi and John and Starcade after these words. <laughs> Welcome back to Starcade and the second half of the first round of competition. And Heidi, you're ahead by 800 points as we go into our next game. And there are four games remaining, and still one of those four games has the bonus prize to it. So good luck to you. Here is your next question. How many ghosts in the game Pac-Man? A, are there three ghosts? Or B, are there four ghosts? John, you buzzed first. Four ghosts. You got it. Four ghosts is right. And that means your choice of one of the four remaining games, and maybe the bonus prize could be yours. Which is it, your, uh, your choice? Okay, uh, Twittenham. Twittenham? You got it. That's your game. You come on down to the playing area, and here's Kevin to tell us all about the game. It's Tutankham, and you're traveling through the pyramids searching for the hidden treasure. Fire on the nasties trying to catch you and make points. When the nasties are in hot pursuit, run through the warp zone and the nasties won't follow, or use the flash to destroy them all at once. Pick up extra points by finding little treasure along the way to the secret door and the treasure beyond. John, you've selected Tutankham. We're going to play that game, and this is a very important game because we're going to total up the points in this round, and between you and Heidi, we're going to see who plays for the bonus round coming up right after this. Ready to play? I'm ready to play. Again, 40 seconds on our time clock. Good luck to you, John. You're going to play the Tutankhamun game. Ready and begin. <laughs> John? I just got a little bit rattled. You got oh. a little zapped, huh? <laughs> I'm going to tell you, you have 620 points, and let's uh, bring Heidi back up to the podium right now. Come on up here, Heidi. <laughs> Heidi, you know, this is a very important game, right? Because we're going to total up the points between you and John on the first two games, and whoever has the highest score gets to play the bonus round for some prizes. So are you set to play? Yes. Have you played this before? Yes. All right. Well, good luck to you. You're going to play it again, and this time we're going to give you 40 seconds on our clock. So if you're all set to go, let's turn you around and get you into position. Wait for my signal. We're going to play the Tutankham game, and good luck to you. Ready? Begin. <laughs>
Why don't you take your place over at the podium right now, and we're going to total up the points from the first two games in the first round of competition, and let's see who gets to play our first bonus round. And, John, at the end of the first round of competition, you have 4,820 points, and, Heidi, you have 6,200 points, and you win the first round of competition on Star K. And Heidi, that means you take a little trip down from the podium. Come on down here with me to the playing area, and you and I get to play the bonus round for some fine prizes. Behind us are four TV screens. We're going to show you four video arcade games one at a time, and if you identify them correctly, we've got some great prizes for you, and here's Kevin to tell you what they are. Kevin? Heidi, for three correct answers, the whole band is right in your hand with the Casio VL Tone. Five different instruments, ten rhythms from rock to rumba, and a calculator, too. The VL Tone from Casio, where miracles never cease. And for four correct answers, it's ColecoVision, the home video arcade system with effects just like in the arcades. Your vision is our vision. ColecoVision from Coleco. How would you like to win those prizes, Heidi? Sure. Okay, let's turn around. Play the game. I'm going to give you uh, two answers for each uh, TV screen, and uh, you come up with the right answers, and those prizes are yours. You all set? Let's go with number one. Heidi, is this Tron or Space Trek? Tron. Correct. <laughs> number two, is this Defender or Stargate? S Stargate. Yes. Number three, is this Wild Western or Cowboys and Indians? Cowboys and Indians. No, I'm sorry, but if you get this next one right, you win yourself a prize. Number four, is this Space Duel or Solar Fox? Space Duel. Yep, you got it, and you've got yourself three out of four right, and that means you've won a Casio VL Tone as a prize, and you might get to play the next bonus round and even go home with the video arcade game of your own, and we'll be back with Heidi and John right after these words. the second round of competition on Starcade with John and Heidi, and we're going to play one more game this round, and whoever has the highest number of points gets to play the bonus round. And don't forget, we still have three games remaining on the program, and behind one of those games is a bonus prize. You call the game, and you might just win that bonus prize. And don't forget, one of you hopefully will go home today with your very own Eyes video arcade game. So if you're all set for another question, hands on your buzzer, please, and good luck to both you and Heidi. John? When the mother kangaroo rescues her baby in the game Kangaroo, what song plays? Is it A, Happy Days Are Here Again, or B, Oh Susanna? John? B, Oh Susanna. You got it. That's what it is. Oh Susanna. And that means, well, since you're here, pick out the game that you want. One of those are remaining. Three games. Oh, I'm so excited about it. <laughs> I win the game. Burger time. Burger time it is. Come on over. Well, you're halfway here already. Let's go over and play Burger Time, and here's Kevin to tell us how it's played. Build a burger. Help Chef Peter Pepper collect patties, cheese, lettuce, and buns. For bonus points, catch the pursuing hot dog, egg, and pickle in the burger. And if you can't catch them, immobilize them briefly by shaking pepper their way. Complete a burger on the platter and feast on your success. It's Burger Time. John, we're going to play Burger Time with you, and this is a very important round. If you can play the bonus round, if you beat Heidi in this game right here, we're going to give you 30 seconds on our clock to play Burger Time the best as you possibly can. Okay, I'm ready if the machine is. I'm sure the machine's ready. Good luck to you. In position, 30 seconds on our clock. Ready, begin. John, tell me, are you happy? Not particularly happy. What was the problem there with Burger Time? I just wasn't as good of a chef as I thought I was. <laughs> Very good. You're funny, too. I'll, <laughs> I'll tell you what's not so funny, though. Uh, 500 points. That's all you scored in 30 seconds on the clock. So uh, we're going to send you back to the podium and bring up Heidi right now. Come on up here, Heidi. <laughs> Have you ever played Burger Time? A couple of times. Well, do you think you can beat 500 points in 30 seconds? 
Maybe. Well, we're going to wish you luck. Turn around, please. In position. 30 seconds on the clock. Here you go, Heidi. Ready? Begin. Let's go back to the podium right now and see who gets to play our next bonus round on Starcade. And looking at the points, John, 500 points for Burger Time. Heidi, 800. And that means, Heidi, one more time, join me down here and let's play the bonus round. You didn't do too well the last time, did you? But uh, maybe today and this one right now, you can do a little bit better and win a prize. And uh, all you have to do is identify at least three out of the four video games we're going to show you on our TV screens, and you'll win some prizes. And here's Kevin to tell you what those prizes are. Heidi, three correct answers gives you the tabletop version of Midway's Pac-Man, complete with joystick control and even shows best score. The arcade game you take home with you, Midway's Pac-Man by Coleco. And for four correct answers... It's the Texas Instruments Home Computer for education, home finance, and entertainment. It's not just for playing, it's also for learning. A home computer furnished by Texas Instruments. Well, good luck to you on bonus round number two. This is your second chance. Let's turn around and take a look at our monitors and look at the games. I'll give you two answers for each one. One of them is the right answer. You come up with the right answers and you are a winner. Let's take a look at number one there. Heidi, is this Defender or Stargate? Defender. Yes. Number two, is this Kong Jumpman or Donkey Kong Jr.? Donkey Kong Jr. You got it. Number three, Heidi, is this Black Hole or The Pit? The Pit. Yep. And now for the big prize, number four, Heidi, is this Star React or Reactor? Star React. No, I'm sorry, it's not, but turn around anyway, and you've won yourself a prize. You at least got three out of four, right? And you have yourself a tabletop Pac-Man for your efforts. And we'll be back with more of Heidi and John, and to see who gets to play for the very own Eyes video arcade game, following these words. Some of our Starcade contestants and some members of the studio audience will receive... The famous red ball joystick from Wicco, making joysticks for actual arcade games like those used on Starcade. Wicco Command Control, the one and only arcade quality joystick for home use. The TI-5130 printer display desktop calculator from Texas Instruments. Anything you do with numbers, Texas Instruments can help you do better. Electronic fun with computers and games is the magazine of the computer age. Easy to read, witty, and informative, it's the ultimate magazine for gamers and computer users of all ages. Electronic fun with computers and games. To our final part of Star K today, and let me say to you, John and Heidi, nobody picked the game that has the bonus prize attached to it, and that happened to be Swimmer. If you had picked that game, you would have won a bonus prize. But right now, John, I've got some bad news for you. You have 5,320 points total score right now, and Heidi, you have 7,000 points, and you get to play for your own video arcade game. Congratulations to you. And Heidi, we have two games remaining. If you pick Swimmer as your final game, you must score at least 310 points. And if you pick Blueprint, you must score 2,260 points. Now, those are the average scores based on 20 people playing those games for a 30-second time period. The same amount of time that you'll have. Heidi, which one is it? Swimmer. Swimmer it is. And come on down to the playing area. Kevin, please tell us all about Swimmer. Dive in and paddle your way upstream, avoiding driftwood and curious snapping turtles. Scoring points as you go. Gather up the floating fruit for bonus points, but be ready to hold your breath and dive to elude the dangers of the river. Come on in. The water's fine. You're the swimmer. Heidi, if you get more than 310 points in 30 seconds, that Eyes video arcade game is all yours. So good luck to you. Everybody wish Heidi luck, won't you? They're your friends out there. Here we go, Heidi. Lots of luck. 30 seconds on the clock. Beat 310, and you're a winner. Ready? Begin.
Let's take a look. Did you or did you not? Yes, you did. You have 430 points. And the Eyes Video Arcade game is yours. You got your mom, your dad, your brother, everybody here. Come on down, John. Congratulate Heidi, won't you? This is Mark Richards. Thank you all for being with us on Starcade. See you next time. Bye-bye. Some transportation furnished by Budget Rent-A-Car, where you get low rates and great service. Hotel accommodations for Starcade staff furnished by the elegant Grosvenor Inn Civic Center in San Francisco. Chauffeured service furnished by Vista Limousine of San Francisco. Portions of the Starcade set were furnished by RCA. Hairstyling by Shea Peter. And Mr. Richard's wardrobe furnished by the Tailored Man of San Francisco. This is Kevin McMahon speaking. This has been a JM production. Thank <laughs> you.